It's absolutely <laughs> crazy. Okay, so let's talk water. Yeah. Um, and this is a big one. We usually don't drink enough water, most mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. and we'll say, oh, yes, we do, because we drink coffee, tea, but the, with, when it's got caffeine in it, you have to be careful yeah. because it, it sort of counteracts yeah. the fact you're drinking you, water. You, won't, you, you could, in a, an extreme scenario, like you wouldn't die of dehydration if your only beverage was coffee because the net water balance would still be more positive than the right. diuretic effect. However, there's a lot of people that still suffer from like less than ideal, like subclinical sub dehydration symptoms. Yeah, and let's talk about those. We actually that. did a we we did a full board here <clears throat> to talk about some of the things that you introduced, like unexpected fatigue, headaches. Which common, super common, right? super common. Which is which yeah. is crazy. Do we have <laughs> yeah. that board? Do we do we do we put it together? Like the full page? No, maybe we didn't. So I'm just going to read them. Sure. They're going to come in the lower yeah. thirds. I thought we did a full board on not en not enough water, but it's unexplained fatigue, headaches, yep. lack of concentration or focus, yep. changes of appetite, and loss of balance. And this could all be due to the Extremely fact we're not drinking common. enough water. True stories. Uh, so we have we have actual patients that come in, uh, and there's it's a lot more patients than you'd expect that uh, come in, and you know they'll see Shelley as a, you know as a naturopath. Uh, they'll come in, she'll do their, you know, the physical exam, medical history, you know, food journaling, and she'll come out and literally be like, the prescription is water, like this much. No way. And the way. person is like, I just paid this much money, and you know, I've been, I've been, I've been know, taking this and doing that. Thinking about taking these medications that my doctor has already told me to take because of these symptoms and stuff like that. And they'll go a, a week later, come back, and they're like, yeah, it's all gone. Like my energy is like picked up huge, and I have no headaches anymore. I was like before, I was like I couldn't focus, and I was distracted. Wow, and eh? people would be like, "Did you remember to take out the, you know, the garbage?" And she's like, "You know, you know, my memory wasn't working." And all it was is something as simple and like unexciting as dehydration, like water. <laughs> which, which is, I mean, it really is crazy. And the fact, and, and they always say too, at least I've heard, yeah. that if you don't, if you, by the time you get a headache, it's too late. You, ha yeah. you haven't drank enough water. Yeah. You should be drinking it constantly throughout That's the day right. to and keep your hydration up. Exactly. And a lot of people have a really distorted like thirst mechanism where they don't, they either don't get thirsty or they get thirsty way past when it would normally kick in. So mm. we, it is a good idea. Just generally, I recommend having like, if you carry your water with you, like, you know, those people that always have their water bottle with them all the time is definitely the best way because you'll just how people unconsciously eat like a whole bag of chips if it's there. If it's there, if right. If the water's there, they'll just unconsciously like sip it all sort of day yeah. long. Well, that's how I, that's how I started <clears throat> drinking more water. So yeah. I just, I, I fill a mason jar, like a one liter jar yeah. of water and I just drink it all day. And when it, yeah. when it's empty, I fill it up you again. Right and, I, and, and I'm yeah. now finding that I'm going through two, sometimes yeah. three liters a day. Yeah. It's crazy. It's, I know it's, and I've caught myself, uh, same situation. Like I'll be at work, I'll have, you know, my coffee and I'm still tired and I'm like, Oh yeah, like I haven't had any water, water today at all, and I'll go and just fill up a big container of water, and like literally within like ten minutes, I'm like energy is back, focus is back. Yeah, well we don't think about yeah, it, right? We just so don't think we don't think about it it's enough. It's like breathing air, and, it, and it's you know? the most important thing to us. Like yeah. we we can't survive without water. Yeah, right. Yeah, we need we need it. It's the thing that you'll die the fastest of if you yeah. don't have it. Which right is incredible. Oxygen, and so let's talk about how much we should have, because I think this is this is where there's so much confusion. Yes. And I've watched lots of videos and things to, like, do we know exactly how much water we should there, have or not really? It's really, it's all over the place. And okay. there's, there's a lot of uh, different distinctions that some, like the Institute of Medicine recommends, just for instance, about three liters for men and 2.2 liters for women. So but most of us are probably not drinking that because no. that's a, that that and is a lot of water. Like yeah. it's it's a lot of you know bottles or you know this Brita would be filled up probably a couple of times yeah. to to get that much water in a day. And, and that's to get an adequate intake or what they call AI, which is which is usually amount of water that's not like ideal. It's just it's enough to like you know get by without wow. really any major symptoms. And then if you're exercising or anything on yes. top of that where you're sweating a lot, yeah. you need to increase that water I intake, right? Yeah, there, and that's the thing is is all the different rules of thumb that people have for how much water intake. I try to like to combine those all those different rules and try to find like a happy sort of average of all those things. So you're right. So in general, um, you should have. A be so let's say if you if you weigh yourself at the beginning of exercise and then you weigh yourself at the end. Ideally, that weight difference, which can be in many cases like several pounds, would be would be fat. But that would be a lie. For yeah, that. that'd be great. If you, it could be oh that. Yeah, because right? you, you could lose easily like four kilos, you know, during intense exercise and hot activity. That's that's over eight pounds. It's almost ten pounds. Wow. Uh, literally but just it's exercising. Water. It's mostly the vast majority water. And if you lose ten uh, ten pounds of water, you need to drink ten pounds of water. 
And for every every uh, kilogram, well, you stick with kilograms because we'll, we'll stay with metric. Okay. For every kilogram you lose, that's one liter of water that you need to replace. Wow. So you. So that's a way you could figure yeah. it out, right? You could weigh before and after, yeah. like intensive exercise with heat. That's the best way, yeah, because Where you're going to lose, perspire, and lose yeah, that water exactly. weight. Exactly. It'll, it'll vary depending on what the activity you're doing and how hot it is. And how we're like seventy percent water, right? Yeah. So like that makes sense when you think about it. At first, yeah. you're like, what are you talking yeah. about? Eight pounds of water, Mostly but yeah, liquid. it's. And a little as a two percent reduction will will cause those symptoms that we're talking about. So going from like say seventy percent water to sixty eight percent water, just that subtle loss of concentration will cause those symptoms in many people. So so measuring yourself if you're doing a lot of activity, I, I wouldn't suggest everybody weigh themselves. You know, at the beginning of the day and the end of the day, because there's just way too many variables. Sure. But during exercise, using weight as a, or even during like sauna, for instance, like we have some patients that do saunas uh, regularly where they're not active but they are still sweating out tons of, of, of liquid. So weighing yourself before and after as well is a good uh, rule of thumb for those people. Uh, other rules of thumb is if you've ever calculated your calories. So if you have, say, you know, 2,000 calories is your amount of calories that maintains your body weight yeah. or is your target weight, then one milliliter of water for every calorie. So a 2,000 okay. calorie a day diet would be 2,000 milliliters or two liters of water. Um, and another, another good one is, is drinking until your urine runs clear. So, right, or, or a, a pale yellow. Like it shouldn't yeah. be a real intense yeah, color, right? Yeah, not intense yellow. I mean, if you're taking multivitamins, and it shouldn't and smell. Thing, no. Unless you've eaten asparagus. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which <laughs> I still asparagus don't understand. Is always one of those things. <laughs> um, but yeah, generally, if you can try to drink until your urine is, is clear, you know, I don't like to talk about urine a whole lot. But it's one of those things where it's a good, you know, if a you've done that, you have pretty much just there's no no doubt left really. Okay, which is that, and that's water. great. That's a great way yeah. if you want to do an easy way to kind of just keep a keep a look at the color yeah. and just, you know keep a log if you want. Y yeah, to. figure it out. <laughs> exactly. What's well, great? I mean, and it is so it is so important, and a lot of us aren't doing it. So maybe challenge yourself, right? In a day, if you you just have a, a glass, or maybe you're not drinking water at all, which is the case for yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. I have a little sip here and there. Uh, start filling a jug and see yeah. how much of that you can drink, or a water bottle, have yeah. it close by. So. Yeah. Thanks, great tips. No problem. Always Thank good you. to have you yeah. on, Tyler. Thank you. All right, for more information, you can check them out. It's full circle health care and supplements up on Centennial Parkway in Stony Creek. Uh, Shelly, who also is a regular on Hamilton Life, naturopath, and of course, Tyler, nutritionist, a, a great combination there. Fullcirclehealthcare.ca. All those problems that you might be having could be because you're not drinking a lot, uh, enough water, so try it. 905 930 7769 is the number you can call. Well, stay